Hey there, today we're having a look at a new brand called Refos. This is a subsidiary of Miros and the proposal of this brand is to be an open API whereby all of the products will be fully open so that you can integrate them with whatever platform you're using. They do have a integration into Home Assistant, which is a hex uh, component. What they've got here, we're gonna be looking at the relay today, but they've also got a smart plug and a power monitoring system that hopefully we'll check out at a later stage. Now they've got quite a cool offer on at the moment. You can apply to get one of these devices for one or two euros to try out for yourself. I'll leave a link in the description below. So they currently have a single relay version, a double relay version, and a smart plug. So according to Refos, they offer a JSON RPC API for local device management, either via WebSocket, HTTP, or MQTT. This eliminates cloud dependency. Today we're looking at the single relay version with power monitoring, which sells for $16.99. Specs on this device, the size is 43 by 43 millimeters by 19 millimeters deep. It operates on 100 to 240 volts AC with an AC maximum of 16 amps. It runs on Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz and does support Bluetooth. I do like that they've got both two neutral and two live connections. And then we've got our switch and our load. On the rear side, we have a pairing button as well as a little cover here which you can remove and have access to the header pins. Now one thing I did note that when I was connecting the wires inside of here if I'm using thin wires I find that they just slipped out. I actually had to fold them over before I can get them to hold in here nicely. When considering the wiring always get an electrician to do this if you're not qualified. Now, having a look at how it's wired up, we've got our live wire coming in as well as our neutral. Unfortunately, there isn't a no neutral option with these devices. Then we've got our load connection, which would be our light, and then our switch is connected between the other live and the SW. Once you've powered it up, select your Wi-Fi, find the Refos signal. Now type in 10.10.10. .10 .10 dot one and it'll bring up the refloss web interface now select the wi-fi tab now select your ssid at first i couldn't get to type in the password and then i realized that i need to uncheck the open network before i could put the password in save your settings and you're ready to go next i took the url from my router and pasted it into my browser and there you can see we have the device operating it's on 234 volts at the moment, current of 0.04 amps, and we're running a 7.21 watts, which is about right. I've got an 8 watt uh, LED light plugged in there, and as you can see, the power on and off button is working fine. Within this interface, we've also got access to the MQTT settings. So we could run this as an MQTT device. The Home Assistant integration works as a hex integration. So we go along, we copy this, go along to Home Assistant, open up hex, and we select custom repositories. We paste it in over there and we select an integration and go add. After restarting Home Assistant, Go to Devices and Services, Add Integration, and search for Refos RPC. Type in the host name of your relay and submit. Having a look at the device within Home Assistant, we have our power on and off for the relay. We have the state of the input of the switch line. We have the current 0.04 amps, 7 watts of power, and we have a 238.9 volts AC power. Scrolling down, you can see we have the device temperature, and this has both overcurrent, overpower, over voltage, and under voltage checks, and it offers a safety cutoff. Well, let me know what you think about these little relays. Great to see another new local controlled player coming into the marketplace. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.